Hey guys, Nick here. Um, today we're gonna go over some good base designs for headquarters level three. All right, so this is almost where you start. I know you start off technically at headquarters level two, but it only takes 15,000 gold to get to headquarters level three. So most people, this is like where you're spending most of your time at the be very beginning of the game is headquarters level three. You're trying to get that 120,000 gold to upgrade to headquarters level four. That could take days. So you got to have a good base set up at headquarters level three. So we're going to go over some good basic design principles here that are going to help you set these bases up um, so that they're a little bit harder to be attacked. I don't think there's a foolproof attack method or a defense method. I think that no matter what, you're still going to get raided, but there's ways that you can lessen the chances of that happening. So one of the main principles that you're going to want to go by is using walls to protect first and foremost your most powerful weapons so that's the reason you can see here i got this mortar at level two right in the middle almost double protected by walls um, that mortar is what's going to be taking out most of their ground troops so right off the bat when they see that that's getting protected that good and they can't just take it out right away that's gonna probably 80 to 90 percent of people that are the same strength as you that's gonna make them flip to the next one um so i always this is probably the best design is to put that mortar right in the middle right there now you also ideally want to protect your goal and you want to even more protect your other weapons like these turrets and this anti-air missile thing um i would almost say that this anti-air missile thing should be completely walled off like this mortar because that's probably the second most important weapon here um but you just don't have enough walls at this level i believe you can only get 60 walls so what do you do how do you enclose this to get the best protection out of those walls because it looks like from what you could see, you can't really double wall it up fully. You're gonna have a break in the wall. So the, what I like to do, um, I put my headquarters there. The main reason being is that your headquarters has quite a bit of hit points. It's got 18,040 hit points. So this is almost harder to break through than a wall. Now you might say, well, then if they break my headquarters, they're gonna get a star and be able to beat me easier. Yeah, that is true too. Um, that's why you wanna put a bunch of stuff in front of your headquarters like this. I should even put more stuff there so that it's hard to actually get to the headquarters, okay? Cause sometimes when I'm looking for bases, they might have all these walls and all these weapons protected. And I'm like, oh shit, that's gonna be hard to break into. But then their headquarters is like all the way off on the side. And I'm like, okay, well, I could just break the headquarters with some guys and there's no defense to the headquarters. And then I get my star and then whatever else I get is pretty much a free lunch at that point because I'm not going to lose any trophies since I busted their headquarters. Um, so that's the main risk with using your headquarters almost as a wall is that it may be a little bit easier for them to access. So in order to mitigate that risk, one of the main things you wanna do is like stack up a bunch of stuff in front of it so that it's not super easy to get to. And you can see like some of this stuff, even if they take out the gold collector and the rally point and the infantry factory and the gold storages, they still might not walk straight up to my gold uh, headquarters they might like say oh we need to target that and then from there they're gonna say oh we need to target that and they might it might actually lead them to go around which is the opposite of what they're gonna want to do with this setup what they're gonna want to do if they try to attack my base is they're gonna want to just come straight in through here and hit that headquarters first okay because then they can maybe get to that um that mortar quicker but even then I think at this level, it's gonna be pretty hard to do that. So when you're setting up your bases at headquarters level three, take this design principle into consideration. You wanna protect your weapons. Your best weapons should be the most highly protected 
and your secondary weapons like these turrets should be protected as well. That makes it so they can't just take the weapons out right away and then the rest of your base is defenseless. Like imagine if I had this out here and then I put a gold collector in there. That would be so pointless. They would just take this thing out, rendering it completely useless very quickly, and then they wouldn't really have much trouble going through the rest of it. So protect your weapons first and foremost, especially your best one. Even this anti-air missile, that becomes very handy because this mortar can't hit air units. So you wanna make sure you protect that too. Unfortunately, I don't have enough walls right now to just wall this off, but you bet when I do have enough walls at headquarters four, that's gonna be the next thing I have walled off right away. So that's a good little series of principles and tips to take into consideration when you're designing these bases. Consider using your headquarters as a wall. It's hard for them to get through it unless they just got a bunch of guys right on it. Um, it may make it a little bit easier for them to get a victory on you, but I think if you put enough stuff in front of it like this, they're just gonna skip to an easier base unless you just have tons of gold saved up. So take these little design principles into consideration. A lot of them will carry through at different headquarters levels and apply them to your base designs because you'll notice you get raided less and less. And some a lot of times when they do try to raid this, you actually win and they don't destroy all your stuff and you just wake up with more trophies. That happened to me this morning. I took a screenshot of it and I'll probably put that in the video. So anyways, guys, that's another video from uh, Nick Plays Crypto. Make sure you like me on Twitter and subscribe to me on YouTube. I'm going to keep pumping out videos about this game daily. All right, guys, later.